Hey guys, welcome to the Ride Show Report. Mike Dean in the house. You're my guest. Thanks for joining me for today's how-to tutorial, where I'm going to share with you and show you how to download the Uber Driver Partner app on an iPad or iPad Mini or an iPhone device 4S all the way up to a 6S Plus. I'll show you where to find the Uber Driver Partner app, the safe place, as well as how to download and install it and how to get around what's called the Uber uh, Untrusted Enterprise Developer Warning and or Notification, which actually prevents you from completing the installation process. So I'll show with you, I'll share with you uh, where to find the settings for that and how to enable it as well. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, I've done it many of times. It's a no-brainer. Um, as you can see, I'm missing that one application, which is the Uber Driver Partner application on my iPad Mini, which is what I'll be using for rideshare in the near future. Uh, many drivers are using iPads, iPad Minis, um, as well as Android. Uh, notebooks or tablets for that matter uh, for ride sharing because the real estate on the screen is a little larger a little easier to see and sometimes they use it as their only device or they use it in conjunction with their other um, mobile devices you know whether it's Android or an, an iOS phone for that matter so in any case let's get going to show you how to get this started and um, you can start using the app on your iPad mini or iPad let's make it happen all right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is find out where to download the Uber Driver application so I can download it, install it, and get it next to uh, the rest of my uh, applications here, as you can see. So uh, step number one, let's go ahead and look for or search for the Uber Driver application. You can do that um, in Google. Just uh, search Uber Partner app for iPhone. That should do it. Um, you want to choose the first uh, link in the search results, which is Drive now slash uber and once you click on that link um, that'll bring you to this page and automatically prompt you to install the app hit the install button and at the very moment we are now downloading the application which is going to take a few minutes um, and then we'll go ahead and walk you through the uh, enabling the uber uh, untrusted enterprise developer uh, warning uh, so that we can get the application installed fully. So just a heads up, the Uber Driver Partner application is not stored uh, in the App Store. It's actually stored in, uh, or rather on Amazon servers and alongside with other applications and data that Uber uses uh, on Amazon for storage. So this is gonna take a few minutes and then let's go ahead and finish the process. All right, we're all set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and drag over the Uber Driver Partner application to my folders where I keep my other applications for Rideshare as well. Drop that puppy in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and launch the Uber Driver app and this is what you get, the Untrusted Enterprise Developer. This is a really simple fix. Um, I'll show you how to uh, find the settings for this as well as to enable it. Just click the cancel button. Let's run over. Uh, to settings here and we're going to scroll down to where it says device management just right there near the bottom that's the third uh, line from the bottom we're going to click on device management uh, we'll click on uber technologies inc and then we're going to go ahead and trust the uber um, partner application click on that trust button it's verified. We're all good and ready to go. Let's go back to our driver application and see if it will launch, which which it will. We'll click allow. And bingo, bingo, there we go. All set up and ready to roll. Let's click online just to make sure. I use uh, Google Maps, I'll choose that as my preference. I'll hit allow notifications. You might have to make some adjustments to get your application and your settings set up as well. Um, and there you go, folks. Pretty simple, ready to go, ready to do some ride share using the iPad or iPad mini, or again, a new iPhone that you might have uh, just gotten and you needed to download the application to it. Let me turn that off, <clears throat> go offline. 
and that's it. It's just pretty much that simple. If you guys have any questions, be sure to uh, hit me up, send me a comment, uh, or uh, just reach out to me. I'll be more than glad to try to answer those for you uh, right here in the article itself or um, in this YouTube video. Uh, leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions that you might have. If you have any other tutorials um, or ideas uh, of videos or tutorials that you'd like me to do, shout, shout it out to me. Uh, I'll try to do those as well. Um, I love doing videos and tutorials, so be more than glad to try to accommodate you. If you haven't yet signed up for Uber, you can do so. There's a link below, so check that link out. That'll take you to my website, which will have all of the sign-up bonuses in your markets, or in the markets in the U.S., rather. So it's about 26 cities. I also have Lyft, uh, the sign-up bonuses for all 26 cities. These are the major cities as well. So like the page, share it um, with others so that they know how to do this. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. This is Mike Dean with the Rideshare Report. Talk to you guys soon. Remember, Uber on, lift off, safety first, and remember who loves you.